Greg LaRue, and I'm the Director of Religious Education at the Cathedral of St. John Bergman's. I come to you today from my home in Bossier City as I'm unable to physically be at the Cathedral office because of the coronavirus, and that's the case for all of our staff. However, we are here to support you, and we are working from home to meet your needs. However, I am excited today to tell you about what we'll be doing this coming Sunday. Because of the technology that we have, as you see behind me, you do see the cathedral and you see our cathedral office and then also our school. And in the far background, you'll see the chapel of St. Michael. The reason why I'm able to bring that is that because of the technology that we have, even though I physically can't be there, I can show you. I can bring those images of the cathedral in the background. And so with this technology, we're going to be able to do the same for our faith lessons for CCD. So starting this Sunday, March the 29th, all of our faith lessons will be live. And we're asking you to participate in those. Most of you have already received an email from me telling you how to access those live faith lessons and also the dates and the times. If you're unable to be there live, they will be recorded and they will be put on our website for you to be able to access at a future time at your convenience. So going forward, this is how we will be uh, giving most of the information uh, for our faith lessons, particularly for our sacraments of First Holy Communion and Confirmation. This is how we will be doing the preparation through these uh, live presentations, and then also they'll be recorded. Until we meet again, what I would like to do is to for us to pray together, and let me offer up this prayer on our behalf. So as we prepare ourselves to ask God for his grace, let's start with the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that you bring your grace upon us, that for all of our actions, all of our intentions, that they go directly and purely towards you in your praise and your glory and for your divine majesty. And that you will bring the grace upon us, as you told us before, that we should love our neighbors as we love ourselves, particularly in these times of uncertainty, and there's a lot of anxiety of what's going on, that we love like you have and take care of our neighbors like you took care of as you are taking care of us. So I say this in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Until we meet again, have a joyful week, and I hope to see you this coming Sunday, March the 29th, at our live presentations.